Welcome to the video. In this video I want to share a very quick tip with you. Now I had a friend of mine, a gentleman called Steve, who was having problems with his Tyrannus. So Steve, this one is for you. He got in touch and uh, said that he was getting a weird error on his radio when he powered it up. It was saying EEPROM overflow and it was something I'd never come across and it was one of those ones where it was quite fun because I had to go away and try and figure it out. Now there isn't any really good information out there. There's a couple of bits in a couple of forums which are quite tricky to find so I thought if uh, Steve is running into it as well then other people potentially will too. So by making this video hopefully if you've just got the error you found the video and I'll explain what's actually going on. Now here is the menu screen on our trusty Tyrannus and here are all of the models that we have on the radio and uh, we haven't got absolutely loads you actually have 60 model memories in total we've probably got about 10 15 models on here all these different things that we use it for now one of the things you'll notice here are these numbers on the right hand side and that is how big the model is in bytes and the more complicated models are typically going to be larger so for example looking at this you can see that things like the team black sheep power cube which has quite a few settings in there is about 608 and things like the cloud surfer which is a big model that we fly which has lots of stuff on there for head trackers and mixes and flap control and all kinds of things is about 617 but the little basic ones that don't really do anything are just there for setting things up, things called like test bench, are only 388 bytes. So this is how big the model is in memory. Now at the very top here, you might notice that mine says 22,556 bytes free. Now every time I create a model, I use a little bit more of that memory, and that's the amount of memory that's left in the EEPROM. The problem comes is if you try and fill up all of your memory slots, unless you're averaging well below 500 bytes a model, you will run out of memory, EEPROM memory, before you run out of slots on the radio itself. What's causing it is once you get below a couple of hundred bytes typically left of memory, is you start getting this error message. And that's because whenever you change anything in the model, what's actually happening inside the radio, the radio saves the new settings as a brand new model. And when that's done successfully, then it deletes the old one. So it always needs a little bit of space for you to save that additional model. Even doing things like changing trims can cause that to happen. So if you are getting that problem, where you fire up your radio and it comes up and gives you the quite alarming error EEPROM overflow, although you can press a button and carry on, what I recommend that you do is go and watch this other video. We did a video here about managing EEPROMs. I connect the radio up to a computer, save off some of the models that you don't use very often, and then take them off the radio to free a little bit of space up. If you have about five or 600 bytes left on the radio, you probably have enough to avoid that problem because when you're changing one of the models that's already on there, then there'll be enough room to save the new version before it deletes the old one. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.